Hello beautiful readers, today is September 30th and I have finished reading The Bean Trees by Barbara Kingsolver. Uh, this book is kind of one of those, I would say more of a throwaway book, like it's an okay story if you need something to fill your time, like you happen to need to grab something on your way to the airplane and you don't care if you lose it. It's one of those kind of books to me. It starts off, we're in uh, Kentucky with this gal named Missy and she is in high school at the beginning of the book and she's dealing with all of her, like all the girls in her class are like, getting pregnant and having to get married and then getting stuck because they have no way to go on and get a uh, higher education. And she's just a poor girl and her chances of getting stuck are pretty high. So she does everything in her power to stay away and not get sucked in to the pregnancy and the dating and all that jazz. So she ends up not getting pregnant and she stays away from that and she goes and works at the hospital enough to save up some money to get a car and then she takes off and she leaves town and she ends up um, getting all the way to Oklahoma before something happens and she gets, uh, we'll call it a package while she's there and then she continues on to Arizona. Meanwhile, at the beginning of this book, we also hear about this gal named Luann and she has a husband, Angel, and at the beginning of the book she is pregnant with their child. So she is dealing with um, having, uh, he's also disabled at the beginning of the book, so having a disabled husband, being pregnant with a child, and dealing with all of those things. So we have those two that Luann's in Arizona and that's where Missy ends up. You can kind of guess what, what happens after that. So it's really interesting about halfway through the book because we finally get those two to come together and they end up, it's really interesting as like a supporting networking kind of uh, situation because we've got these two, one of them's really strong, one of them she's stronger than she thinks she is and so it, there's a lot of um, women's lit things in it that I'm like, oh this would totally be taught in a women's lit class because we've got, you know, references to womanly things and just some different viewpoints that are all really women's lit, this is for a girl kind of things. But I think guys could get a good perspective out of it to an extent too because there's also uh, some in, um, some talking about immigration as well and how we view other people and not just like people people but other nationalities and things and how we group them all into how can a person be illegal you know those kind of conversation starting kind of things so some of those talking points are interesting but the book as a whole as a story if you're looking for a good story to read it's all right I would put it more in the if you need something to fill your time it's it's okay to do that with, but I wasn't particularly sold on the story itself. So that was The Bean Trees. I'm going to be reading Tome of the Undergates next by Sam Sykes, and it's turning out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be, mostly because there's a lot of really dense action, and I'm having a hard time reading all of that while my little four-year-old runs around. So when I finally get through that, I will be making a video on that one as well, but if you have any other comments, suggestions, questions, put them below, and I hope you all have a fantastic day, and keep reading.